member for Brantford Brant. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Solicitor General. Since the implementation of this disastrous carbon tax, Ontarians are paying more for everything, from their grocery bills to fuel costs. With another hike being imposed next week, people in my riding of Brant for Brant are concerned about the impact of this regressive tax on public safety. Speaker, firefighters play a critical role in safeguarding our communities. There are few more noble jobs and few more selfless people than those who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. And that's why, Speaker, I am so proud to serve as a volunteer firefighter at Station 7 St. George in the County of Brant. And to my colleagues, thank you for always having my back. But we know that increased costs of fuel and procurement directly affect the essential services that ensure our safety and well-being. The federal Liberals need to scrap this tax today. Speaker, Question. and the Solicitor General, please explain to the House the effect that carbon tax is having on firefighting in the province of Ontario. Thank you. The Solicitor General. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to congratulate the member for being a volunteer firefighter and for everyone that stands up to be a volunteer firefighter in the province of Ontario. And the member's right. Every time, Mr. Speaker, you fuel up a fire truck, 300 litres is an average fire truck. An aerial truck is even more. A pumper, they're more. Mr. Speaker, they know when they go to the gas pumps, it's $60 or more. Each fill-up is just. It's just for the carbon tax. Wow. And Mr. Speaker, when you add it up, it's over $8,000 a year just for the carbon tax portion of fueling that truck. And it's not fair, Mr. Speaker. It's not fair anywhere in Ontario. And there's no confusion with our government. But the independent Liberals in their alternate reality show thinks it's great. Yeah. And it's not. It's not too late. Pick up the phone, call Justin Trudeau and his cabinet Response. and say this is affecting our firefighters and cancel that tax. Here, here. The supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the Solicitor General for his response. It's good to hear that our government holds public safety as its highest priority and is standing up to the unfair carbon tax. Unlike the opposition NDP and the independent Liberals, our government recognizes that this tax is punishing hard-working Ontarians. Speaker, people in my riding are worried about how the carbon tax is placing a strain on our public safety system. All Ontarians deserve to live safely in their communities, and they are counting on our frontline first responders to ensure their security and well-being. Speaker, even if the NDP and the Liberals won't, we must always stand with our public safety heroes. Speaker, can the Solicitor General further elaborate on the importance of cancelling the carbon tax for the firefighters of the province of Ontario? Thank you. The Solicitor General. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, just the other day, we had the head of the Ontario Association of Fire Chiefs right here. We had the president of the Ontario Professional Firefighters Association right here. And they know our government will always stand with our firefighters morning, noon, and night. But, Mr. Speaker, whether you're fighting fires, and all we ask for them is they come home safe at the end of the day, or for those police officers, come home safe at the end of the day as well. The carbon tax on every vehicle that is used for public safety is, adding, is an added cost that could be used to buy more bunker gear, buy more technology to fight auto theft, do, do something that we can have a tangible, lasting benefit. The carbon tax costs us on public Response. safety. It's not fair. It's not too late. Bonnie Crombie should do the right thing. Call her friend Justin Trudeau because she has the number and can't.